Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video I'm going to be showing you how I go from this bare faced look with some acne and pigmentation to a full coverage foundation look. Um, this is a different way to add coverage to your face. I especially like this for like lighter makeup days. Um, so the whole concept of this is going to be using a BB cream, whatever one you like that doesn't have quite enough coverage for you when you are breaking out. Um, it's that time of, time of the month and you get breakouts or you just are struggling with breakouts right now but you don't want a full coverage foundation. So you use a BB cream and then we're going to use a powder foundation as well to get more coverage but keep it nice and light. So I hope you guys like this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. I upload new videos every single week on beauty, lifestyle, and fashion. Also, if you like this type of content, I do have an ebook that goes thoroughly into applying foundation, powders, concealers, primers, what ones are the best for you. Um, everything has a video tutorial with it. Uh, I go through the different methods, what foundations you should use for your skin type, how to pick a foundation, uh, light, medium, full coverage, all of the stuff is literally all laid out in there. So if you find it difficult to find a foundation for you or you just don't know where to start when it comes to face makeup, definitely suggest checking that out. It is linked in the description box down below. There's like exclusive content that I haven't shared um, like all together in one video on that ebook. So I will link that for you guys guys down below and let's go ahead and get started. Alrighty, so like I said, we are using a BB cream. You can start with a primer, which I will do today by using the L'Oreal Lumi Glotion. I love this stuff right now, especially when we are doing something more full coverage, just so that we get a little bit of luminosity underneath the makeup. So this isn't like necessarily a primer but it does give your skin some hydration and then also gives the nice glow to the face. So I am, as you can tell, breaking out right now. It is starting to subside. It's because I am using some new skincare products. If you are curious, I will link the blog or the vlog where I talk about them down below in the description. Um, but I'm using some new skincare, so I am purging right now, or I was. So there's a lot of pigmentation left over and then also um, some little breakouts. So that's why I started doing this routine because I just wasn't feeling as confident in my skin anymore. And I have struggled with acne now for like four or five years. So I know the tips and tricks that work. That's why I made that ebook because I wanted to share all I learned when it came to face makeup all in one place instead of having you have to go on like YouTube and search a bunch of different things and watch 10 million videos and try and gather the information. It's all laid out there for you. So I'm using the Clean Matte BB Cream in light medium. This is one of my favorites ever. Um, this has about a medium coverage. So it's not going to completely cover all your blemishes and so I like this especially for the spring and summer months because it is nice and lightweight it looks like skin and it does control some oils if you are like oily or combination so I'm going to apply this with a sponge I've applied this with a sponge baby or baby cream um, beauty blender or um, my fingers I like it always honestly I would Normally I apply this in, with my fingers if I'm like in the bathroom where I normally do my makeup, but I, I'm lazy and I don't wanna go <laughs> wash my hands. So I'm very lightly applying this to the face. We are not trying to build up coverage with the BB cream. This is just going to give some foundation for the um, other product to stick to, then you don't have to build up both products. Does that make sense? Like this one, I feel like since it's a liquid, it looks way more like skin, but you're not going to get that build up from using all one product. I hope that makes sense. Especially because you normally set your face, or at least I do. So you always have that powder on your face. So that's why I like going in with a powder foundation because then you're basically covering while you're already doing a step. Um, I have covered everything with just this foundation, but I do find that you have to add a lot. And so kind of 
using the products, what they're meant for um, in different ways together. Like, okay, how do I explain this? So you're always going to have or you normally have a liquid first and then you set with a powder and so why not add some coverage with that powder that you always are using and that's kind of my philosophy when it comes to this coverage style you could use concealer to cover i do cover that in my ebook as well how to cover blemishes but you have to find a really good match and um it's just not always the easiest so this is probably the easiest way i've found to quickly do a full coverage look for everyday makeup and I am using mostly natural light for this video so you can see the true colors of everything. I'm going to zoom you in close. So as you can see, the pigmentation, acne isn't covered up. So this is my favorite full coverage powder from the drugstore. This is the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Powder Foundation in 220 Natural Beige. I do have a full review of this. On my channel if you want to see it just by itself it was from a while ago I can't decide what I like better the like brighter look or less bright so the Sun keeps going in and out today so what I'm doing is taking a big powder brush this one's from morphe it's very old this is the e1 um, I don't know if they still make this anymore but I'm just gonna take some on my brush like this and the best way to find, or I find to get one, the most coverage, and then also the smoothest application where it's not super powdery, is to kind of swirl it onto the face. And you want to start with as little product as possible. So even though we're only getting coverage mainly like here and here, I'm still going to put it everywhere or at least like mainly on the perimeters of my face. Like see how I have a spot here? I'm still putting it up here. And then also the color will just look more even. I will say if you do have dry skin, this is not going to work for you because this powder is more drying. So just keep that in mind. Do you see how insane this coverage is? Like I have felt, felt so put together when I'm doing this routine lately. And it's so easy because like I said, you're already applying a powder normally. So it's not like it's adding a step to your makeup application. You're just adding coverage while doing the same step you normally do. And then I will go back over my concealer. I use the Wet n Wild Incognito Concealer and put it here as well. Okay, now I like to go back in with that sponge that we used for the um, BB cream and just flatten everything out and then also it just helps everything blend with the skin. So it doesn't look heavy. So this is the coverage now. Like pretty dang amazing. Obviously you can still see blemishes because they're raised off the skin. But like if you're looking at me from here, you can't really tell that I have acne. And the difference is just crazy. And it still looks like natural. It doesn't look crazy. Obviously you're wearing makeup so it's going to look like makeup. But it doesn't look too heavy on the face. Um, another tip that I have for you guys before I even do like the other parts of my makeup, I'll spray a setting spray and this is the Neutrogena, Neutrogena Radiant Skin, uh, or no, Radiant Setting Spray. It's like their healthy skin line. Love this stuff except for the sprayer kind of sucks, but that's okay. So I'll spray this pretty generously. And then again, you can wait for this to dry or you could even just pat it, pat it into the skin. Okay, so this is the completely finished look. 
the setting spray definitely helps everything sink into the skin gives it a little bit more of a radiant look so it doesn't look powdery and i love it so much so i'm going to finish the rest of my makeup and i'll show you what it looks like all done but that is the basis of what i've been using lately to achieve this look so about four products for the skin to really get that full coverage look without it looking super cakey or um just like too much and then also this isn't like a ton of steps added to your routine this is basically what you would normally do just like adding in a, adding in a little bit of coverage if you need it so that's about it and i'll finish my makeup and come back this is the finished makeup i love this combination you guys it just makes me feel so confident when it comes to having acne again right now um because for the last while my skin has been really good and then trying new products is purging and it's just you know doing a lot of things so this makes it feel like i don't have the acne even though they're you know you can still see some bumps and stuff but it looks so flawless and i'm so glad that i stumbled upon that super stay foundation again the powder because if i if it wasn't for that i wouldn't have you know done that and i just think this is the easiest way to get a full coverage look for every day so i hope you guys like this video if you did give it a thumbs up and also subscribe check out the ebook down below it has video video tutorials included with everything that are exclusive to the ebook um and yeah i will see you guys in a video very very soon bye